Hello, Sextant plugins are ready for you to try them out and I'm here to show you how you can get started. We have a little Express app here with some files in here. We have a package.json which has Express installed. It also has a couple of other things which I'm going to get to in a second but crucially it also has a sextant.config.js file and this what it does is it just has a little plugins section and this is really important. So what we're going to do, you notice inside here we have a sextant script which is running from this sextant and this is the next version by the way and what we're going to do is we're just going to run sextant so let's just go yarn sextant and this opens up our feature here so we have the get users feature which gets the users from the server and it goes from the front end to the server and we're kind of concerned with what happens in the server since that's the bit that we're implementing here you notice also that these are fully typed over here we've got get users the user IDs and then we return users which is a type of user just there so let's implement this. We can actually add Sextant Tools plugin JavaScript Express into our sextant.config.js. We'll just print it in there. And that's going to give us some tools that we can use to help implement our Express handlers. I've just cancelled the dev server. I'm going to run it again. And I've just have a little fiddle about here so it regenerates some things. And now look, we have a lot of just generated files in here. We've got sextant express.generator.js and we've got sextanttypes.generator.js so let's have a look inside our index.js and see what we can do here so let's go const make express handlers equals require sextant express.generated make express handlers is going to make some express handlers based on we want to capture events from the front end to the server and now our features are just all going to be here waiting for us. So we have get users just there. So in here we can go request and response. You notice that const event equals request dot body. These are all post requests at the moment, so following GraphQL syntax. And we can go event dot type equals get users. We can go user IDs equals event dot user IDs. They're right there. And when we go res dot json we can go type users and return the users so these need an ID of something and then a name of Matt Pocock and then suddenly we have a whole list of handlers which we can attach to our app const handlers and then handlers dot for each we can go handler and feature I think is the thing and let's go app dot post and for each of these we'll add in a path name of the feature and then handler. So this will now mean that all of our features that we've defined in here currently get users will be at slash get users in our app. And there we go.